What is going on guys? We're back working on the 5.3 LS. We're gonna get this head bolted on. I'll show you the torque specs, the torque sequence, and everything you need to know to bolting a 5.3 head down. Should work 4.8, 6.0, whatever you got. Uh, this is a 99 to 03 block, so it requires two different size bolts. For the main torquing, uh, we got these long ones here. And then in this hole, and this hole requires two shorter bolts. They're all M11. But like I said, these three right there that you can see easily. And then the five on the bottom require the longer bolts. And then the left side and the right side require the short. And then you also have some like M10 bolts that go here along the top. But you don't torque those till afterwards. So right now, I'm going to get these bolts put in. And then uh, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, guys. So the first torque sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll torque all ten bolts to 22 pound feet. And then we'll get into the torque angle. Uh, there's many ways you can do it. The angle gauges are kind of crap that you just put your torque wrench on. I'm going to use a snap-on that has it built in, which is super nice, but they're super expensive. But you can go to Harbor Freight, get a knockoff torque wrench like that for maybe a couple hundred bucks versus I think that one was like 700. So let me just torque these to 22 pound feet real quick. Not really that important for you to watch. Uh, you know how to run a torque wrench if you're watching this video most likely. So I'm going to torque all 10 of these real fast, and then I'll come back and I will actually record doing the angle part. So let's get back to it. Okay, guys, they're all torqued to 22. So what we're going to do now is set our torque wrench for the second phase, which is 90 degrees. Now, since we have it set to 90, we just zero it out. Torque is zeroing, angle is zeroing, it is set. So, this is going to be hard because I'm by myself, like always, but I'll at least do a fir the first couple for you. So, we have to clear the valve springs, obviously. We don't want the torque wrench to rest on those. But we're on our first bolt, which we need to torque. So, how this works... We just start going, we're getting close to the valve springs. So the good thing about the snap-on is it will track the degrees for you. So we're at 55. Just get, as we creep on up, there's 90 with a final torque of 41.2 pound-feet. So now we just move to our second bolt and do the exact same thing. Obviously, you can see my shop is a mess from putting this motor together recently. So that tracked us at 38 pound feet, 65 degrees. Put 25 more degrees in it. And we're at a final torque of 44. So I'm going to knock out these other eight bolts. I'll do that off camera and we'll come back for the third and final phase, which is another 90 degrees on bolts one through eight. And then bolts 9 and 10 will only receive 50 degrees since they are shorter. If you have a Gen 4, actually a 03 and later block, the torque reading is a little different on the phase. I'll put that down in the description. But for this 99 to 03, uh, the phases 1 through 3, what was what I'm using, will be good for you. But let me torque these other 8 bolts out, and uh, we'll come back for the final phase. All right, guys, I hope you all can see this. So I've got my torque wrench re-zeroed at 90 degrees again. And we're just going to start the process over. I got a little better camera angle. Hopefully y'all can uh, see this. But we're starting on our number one bolt again. We're going to torque it for the third phase to the final 90 degrees. Go nice and slow. So you creep up on that 90 nice and slow. You don't want to over torque it. We got a final torque reading of 64.1. So since that was our final time marking that one, we're just gonna go ahead and daub it with a paint pen so we know we're done with it. Go to our second bolt. And 
And that's final reading of this is about the same. So mark number two. Then we're gonna move on to bolt number three. Probably be a little easier for you guys if you have somebody to hold the uh, engine stand for you as you get to these higher torque values. But, like I said, I'm usually working by myself. So, we're going to move on to number four. I imagine most of you work by yourselves as well. So. Nice and slow. You don't want to snap that fastener. And you want an accurate torque reading. So. Done with number four. Mark it off our list to do. Go on to number five. Remember, you're only going to do the first eight at the additional 90. Number five is done. So now we'll go on to number six. Hopefully I'm staying out of y'all's camera angle. Number six is done. Mark it. Number seven is directly across from number six. And remember, if you can't get a full swing out of it, the torque wrench will keep track of it, or at least this one does. So we're at 66 degrees. Now at our ninth. Number seven is done. So, now we move on to number eight. Nice and slow, don't want to snap that fastener. Want a good torque reading. There's 90. So, one through eight have had their third and final torque angle of 90 degrees. So now we have to set the torque wrench to 50 degrees for the final two bolts for the third phase. You set it down, let it zero out, and it is ready to go. So we'll start with number nine. There's 50. Go to number 10, our 10th and final bolt for the big M11 bolts. Okay, so we got a final torque reading there. Now, you still have five of these M10 bolts, which will go in the top of the, or I guess towards the intake side of the head. Let me put a pin in here. They will go one, two, three, four, and five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in torque sequence. And they will not need, they will just be torqued to 22 foot-pounds. They don't need any additional torque angle or anything afterwards. So you will just torque them to 22. So like I said, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all at 22. Uh, I'm going to turn this back up now so I can get a better angle at it. And uh, we'll get them torqued down. These are actually M8 bolts, not M10. Sorry about that. I like to just run them in with a speed handle until they're flush against the block and then we go to torquing. So, 11. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, and the final one is 15 and uh, it can be kind of a booger sometimes because the steam port wants to get into the bolt 
just take it nice and slow, run it all the way down. Alrighty, those are on. Our torque wrench has been zeroed out. So we're gonna go ahead and start, whoops, sorry. Got the wrong one on there. Gonna torque it to 22. Now it's gonna be hard for me to read at the angle, but we got a little light telling us when we're there. It's nice and slow, creep up on that torque spec. 22, so 11. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. And that is all it takes. Well, obviously. A lot more involved in it, but uh, that is the torque spec slash, slash sequence for torquing down LS heads. I already did the driver side before I got to this one. Wanted to record this one for y'all. If you're thinking about doing it, man, there's a little bit involved price wise on getting the tools necessary to torque them down, but the knowledge you gain is going to be well worth it in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and get these. Uh, Exhaust and intake ports masked off with some tape, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. If you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Catch you on the next one.